In this video, I'm going to show you eight proven signs of depression. This is the same criteria used by the physician worldwide to diagnose depression. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Ravindra. Warm welcome to my channel. Are you depressed? Depression. It is a real illness, not just a weakness of character, self-pity or laziness. There is a myth about the depression that it is equivalent to sadness, however it is not. Sadness is just a normal emotion that everyone will experience at some point in his or her life, be it the loss of job, the end of relationship or the death of loved ones. Sadness is usually caused by a specific situation person or event. When it comes to a depression, however no such trigger is needed, a person suffering from depression feels sad or hopeless about everything. This person may have every reason in the world to be happy and yet they lose the ability to experience joy or pleasure. It is characterized by hopelessness, helplessness and lethargy persisting for more than two weeks. Depression is a brain disorder and a state of mind. It is by far the most prevalent, representing 99% of all mind-brain illness. It is multifactorial in origin, meaning a number of factors increase the chances of depression. Positive family history, past physical, sexual or emotional abuse, sadness or grief from death or loss of the loved ones, serious illness or substance abuse can contribute to the risks of developing the clinical depression. These trigger factors bring about changes in the brain chemicals known as the neurotransmitters such as the serotonin. This causes the shrinkage of the hippocampus, the part of the brain that plays important role in the consolidation of information from short-term memory to the long-term memory and in special memory that enables navigation. So it is also the memory hampering disease. It is a common and a serious disorder and a major contributor to overall global burden. More than 300 million people are affected worldwide regardless of culture, age, gender, religion, race or economic status. In US only 1 in 10 people are depressed, hence it is the leading cause of the disability and has been rated in the same disability category as the terminal stage cancer. All the ages, the children, the world people, the adults all are affected, nobody is immune to it. Everyone is prone to be depressed and females are two times likely to be depressed than men. It is correlated with hormonal changes in women, particularly during puberty, prior to menstruation, following pregnancy, and at perimenopause, suggesting that female hormonal fluctuation may be a trigger for depression. There are various myths about depression since it is a very common disease. However, let's discuss about the widely accepted eight signs of depression. These symptoms should create clinically significant distress or impairment in social or other important areas of functioning. Let's begin. Number 1. Depressed mood. The person has low mood or feeling of sadness present for most of the day or nearly every day. The person remains unhappy and sad. Number 2. Markedly diminished interest or pleasure in all or almost all activities most of the day, nearly every day. Activities such as going out to dinner or a movie, visiting with friends, working or doing hobbies like cycling are not as interesting or enjoyable as they once were. You may ignore calls. That is what happens. Number three. Significant weight loss when not dieting or weight gain, 
or decrease or increase in appetite nearly every day. Clothes that fit in the past may not fit you today. The amount of food you intake may change with time. Number four, slowing down of the thought. That is a mental retardation can occur in depression. Reduction of the physical movement is observable by others, not merely subjective feeling of restlessness or being slowed down. Creative thinking or rational thinking decreases, which eventually breaks down. Physical activities get reduced, and this hampers the daily work capacity. Number five, fatigue or loss of energy nearly every day. You don't like to work, you feel energy. And you feel better when lying in bed than showing up at work or school. This brings down the productivity as well. Number six. Feeling of worthlessness or excessive or inappropriate guilt. You feel like you have no importance in this world. You hold yourself responsible for harm done to someone when you have done nothing at all. Because you feel like you have not achieved much, you criticize yourself. Your expectations are too high to push yourself to the limit, affecting your state of mind. Number seven, diminished ability to think, concentrate, or indecisiveness. You have a decreased ability or inability to draw conclusion from ideas. You can't correlate between ideas and can't assemble the varieties. This leads to poor thinking and the poor output. Number eight, most dreadful symptom, suicidal attempt. There is a recurrent thought of death, recurrent suicidal ideation without a specific plan or a suicide attempt or a specific plan for committing suicide. Every Tubal may not, one person dies of suicide. Oh my God, that is so dreadful. But the good part is that it can reliably diagnose and treated in a primary care. According to the World Health Organization, GAP Intervention Guide, its preferable treatment often consists of basic psychosocial support combined with antidepressant medications or psychotherapy that consists of the cognitive behavior therapy, interpersonal therapy or problem solving treatment. Despite the non-effectiveness of the treatment for depression, the majority of people indeed do not receive it. Less than 50% receive the treatment and in some countries even less than 10%. So this is so miserable condition and the barriers to the effective cure includes the lack of the resources, the lack of the trained providers, and the social stigma associated with the mental disorder. Hence, when an individual, community, or a national level, it is time to educate ourselves about depression and support the world who are suffering from the mental disorder. In conclusion, depression is everywhere. Let's fight against it. And if you have any queries, please write below. I'll be more than happy. And please don't forget to subscribe now and hit the like button. And hit the bell button for notification and for more exciting videos. Thank you.